Live from Staples Center in Los Angeles, it's the Los Angeles Lakers and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Hi, everybody, along with Steve Kerr, I'm Marv Albert. We are closing in on the opening tip. All right, Steve, what does Los Angeles have to focus on here tonight? Well, one of the things this club likes to do, Marvin, is establish Zadrunas Ilgauskas early. So you've got to defend him well, maybe send double team help early, make him pass out of the post, and don't let him get comfortable down on that block. They're ready to go. Rebound by Bryant. Bryant setting it up. Offensive foul. Delivery to Serbia. Serbia with a nice pass. James is turned back. Six out of the 24. The Lakers will get it back. Out of two, Odom stepped out of bounds. You know, we see that pretty often. Our guys uh, maybe stepping backwards off of a three-point shot or, or maybe driving baseline and stepping on that line. It, it's a little tougher than it looks sometimes to keep your foot out of that out-of-bounds area. And rejected. And Paul Gasol called for the foul. That's his first. Wallace to the line. He is not a good free throw shooter. Ben Wallace all state in high school at uh, football, basketball, and baseball, although came late to basketball. In fact, attended a camp that was being run by uh, Charles Oakley, and Oak uh, guided him to Virginia Union and kind of looked after him. And uh, Ben says that's the reason he's the kind of scrappy player that he is, because he admired the way Oakley played with the Bulls and the Knicks. Yeah, you can see a lot of Oakley in Ben Wallace, just the way he pounds the glass. A uh, very physical player, uh, defends the paint, and uh, he's just a guy who you want on your team defensively because he, he's tough and, and physical, and he's going to have a major impact on the game. Ilgauskas fires and scores. Ilgauskas, the assist to number four, Ben Wallace. Odom with the shot and rebounded by Ilgauskas. Shot clock to seven. Rejected. Fisher looking for the open man. Odom on the hop. Bryant again. And the field goal. Kobe with a beautiful touch from inside and out. And you get the feeling he's pretty confident with that shot. Yeah, no matter where he is on the floor, he, he's extremely confident. To the point where I think he's the best closer in the game because of that brilliant outside shooting stroke. Gibson on a quick release from downtown. What great defense, Marv. Challenging the shot and forcing a very difficult attempt. 
Bryant looking for the open man. Bryant again. Handled by Ilgowskis. Ilgowskis looking for the open man. Beautiful shot. Steve, I think back to the first time we saw LeBron James. We did a preseason game together. And you look at his jump shot now and what it was. He has come a very long way. Well, he has, Mark. He wondered early on if he'd ever develop into a good shooter. But he did it so quickly. And I think it's a testament to just his amazing athleticism and his diligence. He's worked hard at it. Steve, at first, he did not have many believers on his side, but now even Kobe Bryant is convinced. Andrew Biden has come a long way. Yeah, I think he's got a chance to be maybe the best center in the game if you look at kind of the next decade uh, here in the NBA. Very skilled, long, athletic, and uh, he continues to improve every year. Strong words, best center in the game down the road. Delivery to James. Cleveland moves it across. Rebound by Odom. Open shot. And rebounded by Serbia. Cleveland gets it across. James on the hop. Yes. Fisher looking for the open man. Seven on the 24. Handled by Wallace. Ilgowskis firing. And he's rejected. James on the hop. Here's Ilgowskis. And scores. That's poor defense there, Marv. They gave him way too much space because he's a shooter. You know that coming in. So make him do something uncomfortable. Delivery to Bryant. Bryant penetrating. Rebound by James. James setting it up. Gets picked off. Fisher now running the offense. Bryant looking for the open man. Los Angeles moves it across. Shot clock is down to seven. Shot clock is down to five. Great defense there, Marv, forcing a very difficult shot. Here's Gibson, and rebounded by Odom. Delivery to Gasol. Gasol with the shot, and the field goal. That's what makes Gasol so difficult to cover, his ability to knock down the outside shot. An open opportunity for three. Hilgowskis is right there and slams it down. Odom fires one up. Handled by Hilgowskis. Hilgowskis looking for the open man.
Bryant fires it. Rebound by James. Ilgowskis fires and rebounded by Gasol. Odom with a quick release. And Lamar Odom not able to hit. Delivery to Ilgowskis. Swatted away. Odom on the hop. Bryant with the shot. Yes. Kobe with the beautiful shooting stroke. Well, it's textbook, really, Marv. He's got great balance, terrific footwork to set up the shot, and then that high release and follow through. It, it is something to watch. Bynum able to reach for it. Not much energy with that shot there, Marv. Looks like his legs are a little tired. I think he might need to go to the bench to get a blow. On a quick release. Box out by Wallace. Not a bad foul there, Mark. This guy's not a good free throw shooter, so you don't want to give him the easy two. Make him earn it from the line. Wallace at the line. All right, here's Ben Wallace uh, at the line where he has struggled throughout his career. 42% from the line during the course of his NBA career. Is there any chance or is it too late? Can a guy like this improve his free throw shooting? I, I don't think so, Marv. You know, you, you look at, at him and, and he just doesn't have good touch on the basketball. It, you can say, yeah, he can improve his technique possibly. But so many of these guys, whether it's Wallace or Shaquille O'Neal, they put in lots of time. They, they bring in all sorts of coaches and gurus. But the fact is they, they just don't have the hand-eye coordination to be good shooters. And I don't think there's much they can do. Los Angeles gets it across. Handled by Ilgelskis. Marv, if they can get a quick score here and make a stop, they'll have another opportunity for a bucket at the end of the quarter. And Elgowskis able to flip it home. has come on. Final seconds, and he'll fire it up from beyond half court. Well, as the first quarter draws to a close, the Lakers trail by one. Steve, this has not been a thriller. Neither club hitting their shots. All we can say is they've kept it close. Now, pretty sloppy start for both teams, Marvin. I don't know if you can say it was great defense. Probably more the opposite. Poor shooting, poor ball handling. Look for both teams to try to tighten up here in the second quarter. And they're ready to play. Delivery to Bryant. Newton firing.
Shot clock with seven seconds remaining. Here's Pavlovich. Rebound by Gasol. Gasol with the shot and scores. Not often you get a big man with that kind of touch. Beautiful shot there by Gasol. Drive the fade away. And Anderson Barrage off the mark. And stuffs. Gibson giving no room. And was able to withstand the contact and still knock it down. Radmanovic to the line. He's an 80% free throw shooter. Marv, it's very difficult as a player to have the kind of strength to finish a play like that when you're getting fouled. Delivery to Ilgowskis. Ilgowskis again. And the field goal. Fisher looking for the open man. Bryant gets it right back. Men looking for the open man. Yes, Derek Fisher. The assist to number 31, Chris Men. Opportunity and rebounded by Ilgowskis. Ilgowskis fires one up and scores. Delivery to Bryant. Yes, Vladimir Romanovich. intercepted and Kobe with the strength and accuracy to hit that shot from all angles he's got incredible body control Mark the ability to hit that fadeaway jumper over either shoulder I don't know if any player in the league has better footwork Zertrunas Ilgowskis puts it down off the beautiful pass. Gasol looking for the open man. Delivery to Fisher. Mim looking for the open man. Mim able to hustle it down and they can reset. And he puts it down. Delivery to Ilgowskis, and Ilgowskis able to hit. And Kobe Bryant cut 
hooks up short. Serbiak on the hump. Ilgauskas, who has been red hot. And the field goal. Well, that's his tendency, Barb. He'll turn towards the middle of the floor more often than not. That's his comfort zone. Here's Gasol. And gets the friendly roll. Ilgauskas again. Yes. Ilgauskas. The assist to number one, Daniel Gibson. Delivery to Gasol. Radmanovic fires and scores. Serbia throwing off the mark. And the bucket. Well, close game here early on. So this is club trying to force the issue, get out, get some easy buckets. And Anderson Varja lays it home with a nice pass to set it up. The assist to number 11, Zygeris Ilgaskis. And Paul Gasol not able to hit. Delivery to Ilgauskas. Ilgauskas feeling it. Handled by Gasol. Gasol looking for the open man. Bryant with the shot. Rebound by Ilgauskas. Gibson trying to set up. Open shot. And Wally Serbiak with a nice play. The assist to number three, Sasha Pavlovich. Gasol off the mark. Well, I think the pace of this game is having an effect on the jump shooting, Marv, because the legs just aren't there. You can see that one did not look good. And the pass play broken up. Nice fake. And rebounded by Pavlovich. The pass picked off. Well, the turnover story can be misleading, Marv. You take a look at the numbers here, and this club not doing a good job of converting those mistakes into baskets. That's why they're still trailing. Smith firing. And Joe Smith comes up short. on the hop shot clock at six now to four and Damon Jones called for the foul that's his first nice aggressive move there and that's going to get him two free throws that's practically automatic for him Vujicic at the line he's 83 percent at the line
and hits both. And Joe Smith throws the layup. Open opportunity. Yes. Well, there's Odom with that beautiful left-handed stroke. And Marvin, it seems to me like every left-handed player has a good shot. Why do you think that? I, I have no clue. They're also good hitters in baseball, aren't they? Well, I think we can find some lefties. Go, go ahead. Name one. I don't want to. <laughs> Told you so. Intercepted. Bynum got rushed and lost it. And Jordan Farmer called for the foul. That's his first. James to the line. He's a 71% free throw shooter. Of course, Marv, he came directly out of high school into the NBA, and it's probably been the most successful one to do so. You know, not every player who makes that jump is very successful or as successful as LeBron. Could you have imagined yourself coming into the pros out of high school? Absolutely. Uh, I was 6'1", 142 pounds, and couldn't get a shot off against any type of defense. But yes, I could have made it. That would have been fun to watch. <laughs> I would have used guile. Guy. One second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Jones with the shot. And Damon Jones draws the foul. Jones at the line. He's a 71% free throw shooter. And he makes them both. Five seconds remaining in the half. Handled by Wallace. Final seconds, and this will do it for the quarter as he flings it. And halfway through this one, the Lakers trail by one. right in the ball game despite the fact that they have not done the job in the rebounding department. Well, I think they have to be very careful, though, Mark, because over the course of 48 minutes, if you're getting outboarded, it's going to wear you down. This team has to get more physical, more alert in the second half, and really pound the glass. They're setting it up. Odom taking it to the rim. Yes. Well, that's a poor job there defensively, Marvin. You know this guy likes to go left. It's in the scouting report. So you've either got to send him right or bring help from the weak side to cut him off. 
Cleveland moves it across. James fires one up. And the field goal. Serbia with a nice pass. Rebound by Odom. Nice play. Yes, Odom is three for eight from the field. Ilgauskas has the hot hand and scores. Ilgauskas is 14 for 19 from the field. He's really good with that pull-up jump shot from the wing, Marvin. Not a guy who really wants to go to the rim from that spot. He'd rather rise up like he did there. And a foul is called. Fisher on a quick release from downtown and slams it down. Nearly picked off. The Cavaliers will get it back. Five on the 24. Gasol able to hustle it down. Delivery to Odom. Odom on the hop. Nogauskas ends up with it. And that's his 10th rebound of the game. Odom kicked off that pass. Fisher gets it back. Delivery to Gasol, and rebounded by Serbia. And Daniel Gibson not able to hit. Gasol looking for the open man. The Lakers control, and Paul Gasol will put it home. Delivery to Ilgauskas. And the layup is missed at the other end. Handled by Odom. Gasol fires. And Paul Gasol off the mark. Down to six. That's a nice move there. Moving to his left from that spot on the floor. That's one of his tendencies. That's what he likes to do. Really seems to give him a good offensive rhythm. And Derek 
Fisher able to hit. This is all coaches can ask for, Marv. Contest every shot. Delivery to James. Fisher with the interception. It's a three on two. And Daniel Gibson with the foul. That is his second. Odom at the line for the first time. Marv, what makes Odom special, I think, is his ability to handle the ball at his size. You can put him at multiple positions, and he's a matchup nightmare because he can put the ball on the floor, get past bigger defenders, and post up smaller ones. And Lamar Odom with 10 points. Wallace looking for the open man. Rebound by Gasol. Barb, I'm not sure what he's thinking. There's plenty of time on the clock. you got to move the ball, make the defense work. Don't bail everybody out by firing a bad shot. Odom again. Box out by Wallace. Serbia looking at the point. And Wally Serbia comes up short. Delivery to Odom. Shot clock is down to six. And rebounded by Serbia. Serbia directing traffic. And Ogalski is not able to hit. And stuffs. Odom on the hop. And it's amazing how he gets that shot off with such ease. Well, you look at the fadeaway, and then you think about his ball handling skills, his shooting range. I think Kobe Bryant is the most complete offensive player in the game today. Serbiak for three, and Wally Serbiak not able to hit. Mark, this is how you win basketball games. You challenge every shot, and you compete. Nogalskis on the rebound. That's rebound number 10. Delivery to James. Odom with a blocked shot. Handled by Nogalskis. Too quick, Marv. Too quick. They have the whole shot clock to work with. Got to make the defense work. And that is an offensive foul. Farmer has checked in. Finds the room. Oh, he got a hand on it. Wallace looking for the open man. And LeBron James able to knock it down. Steve, we have seen LeBron James come a long way in terms of the perimeter shot. 
but what about the degree of difficulty that he gets involved with? Well, I think he's so athletic, Marv, that he sometimes settles for long fadeaway jump shots, and I think part of his maturation process is taking better shots that are more on balance. Odom to the rim and gets the friendly rim. Nice move there, Marv. He likes to go left. That's his tendency because he can kind of get into his rhythm when he goes that direction. Wallace takes to the rim. Perfect execution on that screen and roll, Marv. He slipped the pick before he even set it. Got right to the rim. Easy bucket. Call for the foul. That is number four. Oh, I like his aggressiveness, Marv. That's going to lead to two free throws, and he's practically automatic from the line. Gasol at the line, first time tonight. Gasol, of course, the Spaniard who came over to the NBA as a very touted prospect, and he has not disappointed Marv. A very gifted seven-footer. He has the ability to shoot the ball down on the block or step away from the hoop and knock down the perimeter jumper. Intercepted. Shot clock to seven. The Saul rebound. This is an excellent opportunity for this club to build its lead, a two for one opportunity. able to extend yes well defensively that's a poor job there mark you know this guy likes to go left i mean that's one of his tendencies so send him back to the right try to get him out of his comfort zone west on the hop shot block the Cavs will get it back jones coming on It is deflected. And that's the end of the third quarter. The Lakers lead by 11. As we head to the fourth quarter, Steve, as you know, we've been there before. This game is still within reach. Well, anytime you have a, a comfortable lead and you're at home, Mark, it's important to try to close things out. And you do that with defense. You don't want to trade buckets here. You've got to make stops and really continue to build this lead. All right, here we go. They will put it in play. Gibson on the hop. Offensive foul. Odom with the shot. And the field goal. Odom is 7 for 14 from the field. Gibson at the point. Someone got a piece of it. Shot clock at three. Serbia fires with one on the clock. Rebound by Oda. Tough shot there, Marv. Shot clock winding down. Defense all over him. Mark, where's the defense? You've got to slide your feet, get in front of people defensively. And Sasha 
Bogdanovich with his first bucket. Turns to face and rebounded by Ilgalskis. Bryant looking for the open man. Ilgowskis able to reach for him. That is rebound number 15. Here's Ilgowskis. Yes, Ilgowskis is 15 for 22 from the field. Radmanovich looking for the three. Beautiful shot. Well, what a nice effort off the bench here tonight, Mark. Giving these starters a rest and coming in and really doing some damage. And Sasha Pavlovich draws the contact and he is fouled. Well, with this guy at the free throw line, I don't think it's a bad foul. He's notoriously a bad free throw shooter. And Sasha Pavlovich at the line for the first time. Barb, I think Pavlovich is much better than people give him credit for. He's about 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, very strong, and, and, and extremely athletic. I mean, people don't realize what a good athlete he is. And when he shoots the ball well from the perimeter, he becomes very difficult to guard. And Paul Gasol with that beautiful touch inside. I like what this club is doing, Marv. Nice execution offensively. That leads to the easy bucket. Open opportunity. And Daniel Gibson with his first bucket. Gelskis. And a foul is called. James has come on. Gibson firing. Air ball. And Andrew Bynum able to put it down. Defensively, they cannot give up such an easy hoop, Marv. Here's James. And LeBron James off the mark. Shot clock with six seconds remaining. Serbia with the shot clock down to three. Vujicic looking for the open man. Gibson with the block.
Cleveland gets it across. Serbia with the shot. The Cavaliers control. LeBron James to the rim. Shot clock is down to seven. Pal Gasol able to stuff. Well, you wonder how a team falls behind by so much. It's this kind of defense, Marv. Just give him a layup, why don't you? Gibson working on the perimeter. Nice pass. And it's rejected. West has checked in. Six on the 24, down to four, now to one, rebound by Nim. This is a defensive exhibition. They're shutting this club down. That's how they built this lead, Marv. Nice play. Gasol fires one up and scores. Gasol is nine for 15 from the field. West working up high. Delivery to Serbia. Delivery to West. James fires. And rebounded by Fisher. Mim keeps it alive and slams it down. with the shot. And the bucket. West looking to set up. The Cavaliers control. An open opportunity for three. Mim able to hustle it down. The bad shot there, Marvin. You've got to make the defense work. You can get that one anytime you want. Vujicic looking for the open man. James tipped off that pass. Field goal. West trying to stay in front of him. And a foul is called. Smith has checked in. Shot clock at six. Delivery to Mim. A beauty to draw the foul. Well, you can't accept getting blown out, Marv. You've got to continue to fight. That's a good hard foul there. Mim at the line. First time tonight. Handled by Smith. Farmar giving no room. Yes! Offensive foul on them.
West with room for three. And Delonte West off the bar. Fuyutich looking for the open man. Shot clock is down to six. Rebound by Pavlovich. Open opportunity. And Delonte West knocks down the three. For three. The assist to number three, Sasha Pavlovich. Two-second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Farmar with the move. Farmar looking for the open man. Shot clock with five seconds remaining. And Anderson Pavlovich called for the foul. That's his first. Ariza at the line for the first time. And rebounded by Wallace. We're down to the final seconds. That was a three-point attempt. And Daniel Gibson comes up short. That's it. This one's over. The Lakers take it. The final score is 80 to 63. Zadrunas Ilgalskis, the high point man, with 30 points. Marv Albert along with Steve Kerr saying so long from Staples Center.